Yeah, this is Keith at 01. Is Bobby there? Bobby is no longer here. Uh, at all, or? At all. Okay, who's, who's the manager? Yeah, I hadn't heard either. Uh, well, my, uh, Joe is the manager, Joe Sear. Okay, could I talk to Joe, please? No, I'll, I'll wait. Yep. Service, this is Joe. Can I help you? Hi, Joe. Uh, my name's Keith. I, I own a shop here in town called Level One Automotive. Uh -huh. uh, I've, I've got a customer with a 13 Kia Sorento. Uh -huh. Are you aware of the situation going on? Um, very little. I was brought into the loop earlier today. Okay, because I talked to Joe on Friday, and I, as I hear, he's not there. Bobby, Bobby, him. Bobby, sorry, talk uh, to Bobby. <laughs> I was say, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm the You're only You're like, I'm Joe. Joe. <laughs> You're like, I'm Joe. I got an advisor, Joe. Yeah, he goes by, he goes by um, Spidey, yeah. so we can cut down on the confusion. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, you're Joe. I was talking to Bobby on Friday okay. and kind of gave him the rundown. So the, the situation is. What again? I'm sorry. My name's Keith. Keith. Yep. I almost, I almost put James on there. I it's don't okay. Know why. See, I, I called Bobby Joe, so I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, I let Bobby go on Saturday, so that may yep. explain why I wasn't brought into the loop. Yeah. All right. Now, Keith, let me ask you a question. Um, yes. Because I've got access to his email. Did you send over any uh, any pictures or anything? I sh I sent over. A, to to Nate Harlan. To Nate. Yes, okay. I sent the, a, a copy of the digital vehicle inspection. Uh, should be a okay. link that you can click that will have. There's probably 50 pictures, a video, post scan, pre scans, oscilloscope pattern, waveforms. There's a lot of we we document everything. Up. And I'm gonna go through it right now, all of them. And I will give you a holler back if you do not hear from me today. You'll hear from me first thing in the morning. Okay. And we'll get this taken care of. What's a good number for you, Keith? Uh, so you can reach me directly at 918. Let me give you a number, too. That's going to be easier to reach me. Yep. Let me give you my cell. Okay. I'll give you my cell so you don't have to go through the rigmarole with yep. everything. That's what I just gave you for uh, me nine, was my cell. Same thing. I don't want you to wait on the system. Uh, 918. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Do you want me to send you a fresh copy, one. too? I can send you a fresh copy too. I'm right here staring at oh, it. Oh, so. if, if you got that, yeah, that'd be perfect. Yep. What's the email? Let me give, you, let me give it. It's a J C Y R at midtimekia.com. Okay. Her is called about twice a day each day, and understandably so. And she's been without the car for about a, three weeks now, so we're. Yeah. You and I have this thing wrapped up in the the okay. Out. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'll get this sent over to you in the next five minutes. Please just check your spam folder if you don't get it. It'll probably come from like level one automotive or something. It, it's a, it's a, our DVI system sends them. That'll work. I appreciate it, buddy. And we'll talk soon. Yep. Thanks, Joe. Right, Bye. Bye. We're back with Miss W's car. So this is the 2013 Kia Sorento. If you haven't been watching, I don't know what part video this is. This has been a long saga. I'm going to split up into multiple parts because it's just too much for one video. Uh, so please go down in the description and watch the previous videos to figure out what I'm talking about, what's going on with this car. Here's what I'm going to tell you. We got the lower intake on. We got the upper intake. We got all the parts finally from Kia. We installed them, got them on. Motor is fine. The valve does not stick anymore. It no longer has the misfire. Miss W can, uh, we, we, we got it all. We, we drove it quite a bit. The problem was the check engine light did come on. So we're like, all right, we'll check that when we get back to the shop. We're looking at other data. So we, we checked the code. It has the P200 alpha code that it went to the dealer for to get repaired, which during the uh, apparently attempted repair actually of that DTC, um, this problem was created. So we went through and diagnosed the issue. I'm sorry I didn't I filmed that. The, here's the issue. 
They replaced the VCM actuator, which is a motor bolt on the intake that has a rod that actuates a rod up and down that turns, that's attached to an arm that goes to a shaft in the center of the lower intake manifold that opens and closes the runner valves. Rather than there being a position sensor inside the VCM motor, there's an external vein position sensor, a VPS, bolted to the, the uh, secondary shaft on the lower intake. So as the first one turns, as the main shaft turns, it turns the end of the position sensor, so the position sensor reads or if it's opened or closed. The vein position sensor data doesn't change. It's a Hall effect. It's got power, or it's a potentiometer. It's got power and ground. It's stuck at five volts on its output. Uh, so we confirmed that the vein position sensor is bad. The unfortunate part is the vein position sensor is located on the lower intake. So we got with the dealer, talked to them. They weren't really required to repair this is the best way to put that. So it's one of those things where they misdiagnosed it. So in this instance, I called them and talked to them and actually, fortunately, they're paying me to replace this part. They gave me, again, we got the part and they're paying me to replace it to actually fix the car. So they are doing Miss W right. The problem is, is that we are currently, let's see, today is February the 2nd and the car got here December the 6th. We had the vehicle diagnosed within about two days of, of it getting dropped off. I think it's scheduled day was like the seventh or eighth. We got the vehicle looked at. And since then we've been dealing with nothing but bureaucracy with Midtown Kia. So here we are, I'm gonna put a VPS in Miss W's car and then her car is done and fixed. And, uh, but Midtown Kia is gonna pay for their mistakes. So I appreciate that. It just shouldn't have taken this long. Miss W's been without her car since October so, all right guys, I'll show you what we got next and then uh, you can see the fixed vehicle.